everybody, I'm Tracy Mallet from tracymallet.com and in today's video we're going to talk about diet enemy number one, sugar! Is it as bad as they say? Stick around for the answer, plus I'll share a secret to keeping sugar cravings at bay. If you spend any amount of time online looking for healthy diet ideas, you've probably come across some articles about the dangers of sugar. Let's up some misconceptions about sugar, starting with properly defining it. First off, there are two types of sugar. Added sugars, which are found in processed junk foods like cookies, yes, do you know that? Donuts, ice cream, soda, look at this big donut here, it's full of added sugar. The American Heart Association recommends women limit their consumption of added sugars to 100 calories a day, which is about 6 teaspoons, and about 150 calories a day for men, which is about 9 teaspoons. Eating too much sugary junk food is metabolically damaging, causing cardiovascular disease, inflammation, nutrient deficiencies, blood sugar imbalances, and insulin resistance, which is a precursor to type 2 diabetes. So the answer is yes. It is absolutely true that added sugars are harmful and should be reduced and limited to a very small portion of your diet. Now let's talk about a different type of sugar. This type of sugar, when eaten properly and balanced with proteins and fats, is actually healthy for you. And these naturally occurring sugars are found in all fruits, vegetables and grains. These are called carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are divided into two categories, simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. And these are broken down even further into monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides. But for now, just know that carbohydrates are metabolized into a type of sugar called glucose. And glucose is your body's preferred and optimal form of fuel. Unfortunately, carbs have gone a real bad rap lately. There are a few nutrition philosophies that perpetuate the carbs are bad for you. Myth, it's the extreme that even fruit and certain vegetables should be avoided. And naturally, this causes a lot of confusion with people. Everybody's different. Some people may need more carbs. Some people may need less carbs. But in a world where most people are eating way too much processed junk and added sugars, I believe it's dangerous to deter people from eating fresh fruits and vegetables. In fact, when you break it down chemically, the only way to avoid the natural sugar from carbohydrates is to remove all carbs, even vegetables, and only eat meat and oil. And I really don't think all of us agree that that is a healthy diet. The reason carbs get a bad rap is due to how they interact with your blood sugar. Eating too much carbohydrates will cause the amount of glucose in your blood to rise to dangerous levels. Your pancreas saves the day by releasing insulin, which removes sugar from your blood and converts it to body fat. Unfortunately, this process caused a blood sugar crash, which is very stressful on the body and triggers cravings. But removing carbs entirely or reducing them to dangerously low levels for extended period of time is not a solution to stabilizing blood sugar. In fact, this could make your body less tolerant to carbs over time. Having said that, I do recognize there may be certain medical situations where lowering carbs could be helpful, but for most people who are healthy, carbohydrates are well tolerated and should be included as part of your healthy diet and are not to be feared. The best way to keep your blood sugar happy and balanced is to always eat protein and fat with your carb. This will help blunt the surge of sugar into your blood. In the real world, this looks like a veggie omelette. You can see here, 
This is one of my favorite dishes, it's vegetable omelettes with tomato. Perfect combination. Or maybe you prefer some Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts baked in some olive oil, salmon, and sweet potatoes. I bake my sweet potatoes in a little bit of coconut oil. And this is basically the diet that I really, really perpetuate as a very well-balanced diet. Carbs, protein, and fat is present in both of these meal examples. This will help stabilize your blood sugar, which will keep your body happy, prevent blood sugar crashes, which will help to eliminate cravings for junky carbs and added sugars. Thanks so much for watching. Please share this video with your friends. Click that thumbs up button and head on over to tracymount.com for more health and fitness tips. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.